How's it going? Uh, with this video, I decided to make a little quick Top Gun 3 tutorial slash time lapse. Maybe even a little bit of review of it. Uh, I've seen in social media people talking about if it's worth the cost and everything. So I'd finished this model in Blender a couple days ago and wanted to kind of give it a spin, kind of give my impressions on it. Uh, if you stick around to the end, I'll even go over some of the tools that I use and maybe some that I didn't use as much. And uh, we'll go from there. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks.
thanks for sticking to the very end. Uh, so that being said, I want to go over these little hotkeys and the, the tools that I use to make this. Uh, the first would be the E for edit. So we're going to go through that one in this little section here to kind of give an idea what it's for. So with the E edit, you can have it where move around here to the object. The most important aspect of this mode is if you hold control, you'll see the little red marks highlight. This is where it's going to snap to. So you can use that to really quickly edit your model. It's probably one of the most useful things in this mode. In this next portion, we have the little edit options. Uh, you may have this little box somewhere around. I just have it uh, set to the side. So with this, you can turn on the edges and faces and it lets you select those as well. I would say most of the time you just want verts on, but it's, it's useful depending on what you're doing. Maybe for like character faces and whatnot. In, uh, next mode, it's uh, for C for create. This is the mode you'd probably be in the most, at least for my uh, project it was. So what you do is you click on these little verts, you click to the next one, and it'll make a quad. You got some triangles and it'll do that as well. So that's really pretty much the only, it has more uses than that. Of course it's like hotkeys, but it's pretty much just click, make a quad. And the other function for this mode is you can also make a line with these, right? So you quickly, and it'll, of course, it adhere as you're doing it. And you kind of go back through them, make. It just depends how you want to do it, and different patterns, and it'll just make them solid. And I find like what you can do is you push E to go back to that mode, and press C quickly, and it'll kind of start a new line. Just so you don't have to click the, through the entire model to get back to the point to finish off the quad. For this next mode, it's this little pencil. So with this, what you do is you actually draw uh, the shapes you want. I feel like you can, you know, this is really useful for large models, like uh, character models and whatnot, but mine, I didn't use it too much. With this, you draw the quads and you kind of get a general spacing like this. When you're done, you push create geometry and it'll do this little loading thing. It makes the quads. It's actually pretty neat. So it's kind of crazy, really. For our next tool, it's the little edge slide. This is like a traditional edge slide. You just click one, click the vert, and it'll slide it. Here's a better example here. Just click this one, slide, and adjust it. It's pretty simple. For the next tool, it's the uh, tubes option. So what you do is, I find you go on top view, or like a more direct view, and you draw exactly where you want a ring to be. So you do like two or three like this, and it'll show like the line, uh, the red line. You do create geometry in the corner, boom. Makes a perfect little uh, ring around the object. And for this next one, take like a little paintbrush. Uh, it's just to pretty much grab a lot of verts around the same time. You actually adjust the uh, the scale with the control, right click, so you can move stuff. It also adheres, it's really good for adjusting a lot in one, one go. If you hold shift, it smooths it out. It's actually really good too, so. And this one, it's the extrude. Uh, this is really cool because you can click where you want and quickly extrude in those directions. You, this, this uh, axis, but it's mostly just the green one's the best. For this next uh, tool, it's the, I call it the pizza tool. Maybe that's just called slice, but yeah, it's a pizza icon. So with this, you just literally get the line, select it, cut straight through it. This is really cool. I would say you can actually use this in you know, tandem with that old tubes tool from earlier. So. It's pretty neat. This tool, it's the tool cut. This is like a traditional like, multi-cut in my uh, or knife tool in Blender. So you just click a vert, go to each one, you know, and just make cuts. And you push right click to confirm. That's actually really useful, especially when you need, you need to like add uh, little sections back into, like, say here, you can click the middle area. You can, I think you believe you can cut straight through, yeah. And it'll add all those. This next tool, I can cut this little area out, just for example. Uh, what you do is you click, and drag this little, little thing up, 
you can do is you can scroll mouse wheel control and it'll actually change the division. So you kind of get where you want to. If you push a uh, middle mouse and alt, you can adjust your camera. Kind of really line it up. Then you push create geometry. It makes a perfect little uh, ring. This next one, I didn't really use it too much in this model, but it's called shell. What you can do is you can click like this little section here, turn to a shell, do create, you can change the thickness, do create geometry, and it kind of adds like a little extrusion sealed off from the little section. Probably really good for like making hard surface type stuff. But I didn't use it that much in this uh, little portion, so I just want to kind of go over that. This next tool is called patch tool. So what you do is you draw out a line very much like the draw uh, tool earlier but you connect little sections here and it gives you a little like, example of how it look and what's kind of cool is it gives you the kind of preview if you push control mouse wheel it will change the density of it it's really cool and once you get like a set section here um, there we go I'm trying to get it quadded all right so with that you push create geometry and like that for our last tool this is probably my favorite one it's the bridge tool so what you can do is say you see this giant uh, section missing you can add those lines from that one tool like this right then switch to the bridge tool and you just paint the quads where they need to go in between. That saves tons of time. It's, I probably use that 50% of this entire thing, especially with large sections. Well, that being said, I uh, hope you all guys enjoyed this uh, little video. It was just kind of a quick thing. I didn't really have too much planned for it. just kind of want to go over because I noticed there's a lot of videos from like two years ago. And I just wanted to post this, get out there because I'm not sure what's changed all the time. Once again, if you liked the video or you hated it, uh, like or subscribe. And uh, yeah, I plan on adding more videos, especially with this sword later, be a substance painter, baking, whatnot. So thanks for watching. Peace.